Hey guys, gals, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Well, it's Friday afternoon. We're down at the farm. So what is going on today? Well, have to tell you, I'm still frustrated. Here we are, another week without the uh, tractor. The New Holland 5060 is still in the shop over in Sulphur Springs, Texas. Oh, and waiting on the uh, injector pump to get back from uh, the company that they outsource the injector pump repair to. So, uh, you know, supply chain issues everywhere. So here we are, September, what is this? This would be the 17th, and it is another hot, 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 dry day in North Texas. We're about 93 degrees. There's been no rain. There's no rain in the forecast other than a 15 or 20% chance. So really not a lot. So what's on deck this weekend? Well, one thing we have to do is I have a major sprinkler leak in one of the uh, feeder lines, which is a three quarter inch hose buried under the ground. So we're gonna have to dig that up. It's right over there. The good news is it's at a spot where uh, one of the trees actually died. So. Uh, I gotta dig that up, repair the main feeder line, then from there, put a new sprinkler head back on it and get it back up and running. So that's one of the things we're gonna do. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get back on this project way over here. Last weekend, that's the fence row that we cleaned out over there, going down that fence row. So we're gonna come back in the morning when it's nice and cool, and we're gonna drive T-post in between the existing T-posts, put new clips on them, and uh, in essence, shore up that fence. You know, it's, it's not a bad fence, but uh, the posts were set on pretty uh, far centers and we just need to make that better. So that's what's on deck today, man. Uh, another frustrating weekend because normally this time of the year, I would have already been done with shredding. I would have shredded all the pastures. So they would have had a chance to get a little bit of regrowth back to them with the cooler weather. And normally the fall, we get more rain and moisture. But right now, no shredding, no tractor. Just makes it very, very, very frustrating uh, to say the least. So more to follow this weekend. Okay, here's what the uh, water leak looks like when it's actually running. So let's get down here and take a quick little look at this. And I'll show you guys what we're dealing with and I apologize for the shadows, but you can see what's going on there. So you have your little uh, head and you can see the head is connected because it's rotating and spinning. But down there at the base where it plugs in, we have got a major little leak in the main line. So what this thing does is going north to south we have three quarter inch tubing that runs down each row and then the little one quarter inch or one eighth inch tubing plugs into that then across the front of each section there is three inch pvc pipe that runs as a header or a manifold all the way down <coughs> excuse me into three different sections so we got one zone two and then three so there's three zones all feeds off the well house right over here so that's what we got to fix in the morning but i'm not going to do it this afternoon i'm going to let it get nice and wet here so it'll be easy digging and then we'll jump on that in the morning when this is all in the shade and hopefully pretty cool but man it is dry 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 here in north texas good morning guys and gals scott with heritage farms texas well Saturday morning at the pecan orchard. The sun is just coming up. And what are we working on? We're gonna fix this uh, little uh, leak that we have on the sprinkler line. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna get with the program and uh, let you guys just uh, soak it all in. Okay, so this didn't take very long, but you can see we exposed this three quarter inch flex pipe. And now we're trying to figure out where is the leak and where is the water coming from? Could be just coming right out of that little connection. 
So the good news is I don't see any major cracks or anything. I just got to figure out where the actual leak is. So sit tight, guys. We'll come back and uh, turn the water on. Okay, we actually got lucky for a change. So what we have right here, once again, is we have three quarter inch poly tubing, if you will. And this is what this stuff looks like. It looks like this. You can kind of see the diameter of it. And this stuff has supposedly about a 10 or 12 year lifespan to it. And what this does is it runs this direction. So every one of these rows going north to south, we have this poly tubing that's trenched next to the, uh, the tree. We then come back with a little bit of the uh, quarter inch line that goes to it. And that's how we connect it. So in this case right here though, we actually got lucky right here below the ground, this actual uh, quarter inch was split. And we've seen that a lot this year in the orchard. And I think it's the result of the Texas winter storms where these things had water that trickled back down and was maybe right down in this level. This was the weak link and it seemed to bust open more so than the uh, big pipe, which I'm really glad the three quarter inch pipe was not damaged or hurt because this stuff here, that's a little bit harder to work with. And uh, so let me show you what would happen. If that pipe was actually broke, if this pipe would have been broke, we would have had to make a cut, get it nice and square. And then you take this fitting right here, which is a compression joint. And you see how it's got the bulge on the one end? You would slide that in here to that point. Then you just tighten the screw and see how it covers up the end of it. And it puts pressure on it and holds it in place. So really a neat connector to use. But in this situation, the repair comes down to this. That's right, about an 11 cent part. So what we'll do, we'll come in here, we'll cut the wire right below the cut. We'll make sure we take the cut out of it. And then we'll uh, install this and voila, we're back to the races. So, all right guys, more to follow. Just wanted to kind of give you an update. I'm gonna set the camera up and you can watch me uh, make this repair. So it's always to easier if you can make one of the repairs right here while you're standing and not having to crouch down in the dirt and the mud to do it. So it's kind of nice. So you see you have a connector on this end that's gonna go to the, uh, to the sprayer. And uh, so we got that one done. This is the setup that we're using right here. You can see it's got a little whirly bird head on it. It's got the connector. You got a plastic stake. We put it in the ground, connect it up, and we're off to the races. Okay, not bad. So in under about 15 or 20 minutes here, we've managed to make the repair. We got everything back in place. Now we just have to go turn the uh, pump on and see if the repair held. Okay, well, the good news, our repair worked. You can see this thing is spraying. You can kind of see 
step back here a little bit so you can kind of see the uh, diameter of the pattern that it has. Of course, that tree is dead as a doornail. I'm just leaving it there for a placeholder until this fall or winter when I do a replacement tree. But all right, guys, we got lucky on this one because uh, working with that three quarter inch tubing is kind of hard to do when you're putting a splice in. So I'm kind of glad that was uh, a relatively easy one. So for once we dodged a bullet. Hey, hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave us a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. We have other pecan videos out there. I'll put a playlist up here or is it up there? I don't know. Well, we'll put one up there in the top corner and uh, you can click on it and check out some of our other pecan videos. But hey, glory be to God. Beautiful Saturday morning in North Texas.